Welcome to Fallout History from Nukipedia, the Fallout Wiki. Find us online at fallout.fandom.com. Let's get into it. On July 4, 2076, the 13 founding colonies of the United States declare their independence at the Second Continental Congress. On July 21, 1948, a B-29 superfortress crashes into Lake Mead. Fast forwarding now to July 11, 2072, several soldiers are killed at the Ultralux Casino in a botched arrest after stealing $20 million in gold bullion from their post at Vault 79 and deserting. Sergeant Catherine Montgomery is found a day later at the Lucky 38 with all the bullion. On July 4, 2076, Vault 76 is completed and unveiled to celebrate the United States Tricentennial. On July 21st, 2078, the snow finally thaws in the Appalachians after the winter of the century. Radiation levels are down and the White Spring Resort comes back to life. Between July and November 2102, Richard Gray remains consciousness. The mutation stabilizes and Gray notices his greatly increased intelligence. He begins to experiment with captured animals eventually formulating a philosophy of unification. The unity begins to form. Joy. Die. Joy. Die. On July 10, 2162, the Vault Dweller heads north with a small group of fellow Vault Dwellers and Wastelanders and founds the small village of Arroyo. Between June and August 2236, the United States Chemical Corp scour Mariposa using slaves captured by Encrave assault squads Frank Horrigan, 25, is part of the slavery units after his removal from the Secret Service due to a psychotic episode. And on July 20, 2242, Arroyo is attacked by Enclave soldiers, and the villagers are enslaved and bought to control station Enclave. Uh, uh, sorry, I I've just been informed that, that that definitely never happened. The Enclave would never ever do such a thing. On July 13, 2268, the Lone Wanderer celebrates their 10th birthday becoming a full vault citizen. That's it for Fallout History for July. I've been Agent C, and our look is by Fresh Your Mama. See you next month.